Yes, viewers, the name is Nozuelo Hadebe. Uh, with me here, I've got uh, none other than Honorable Akelo Beatrice, all the way from Uganda. She's the Minister of State for Economic and Monitoring Government of the Party of Ghana. Ma'am, it's a pleasure to have you here as my guest. Uh, so I'll be asking you a few questions concerning the Climate Action Conference that we just had, uh, was set by Africa Voluntary Club on Credit Markets Forum. Um, first of all, I just want to know how do you feel about the state of climate in Africa? I am so grateful that uh, Africa is now waking up to champion their own interests. This is something this is fundamental. And I would like to encourage all of you to wake up from sleep and begin championing common good. But then I believe that this is um, an action complex, which means we are coming out with actions to implement our day from this conference. Yes. So I want to know what actions do you think Africa needs to implement in order to achieve the sustainable uh, development goals? We need to champion regional integration as Africa to work as a team, to work as one body, united, to champion our interest of achieving climate care change mitigation. And uh, we also need to pull our resources together as African continent in order to achieve our goals. Because if we work in silence, we cannot achieve it. Fine, Uganda has meager resources, they have ideas, but they may not have enough resources. But when we come together as Africa and we pull the resources together, we can better work on our interests. And uh, it's also very important for Africa to always initiate our own program and stand by it. Thank you so much for that. And then probably one of the last questions that I have for you today, like what's your take home from this conference, from this action conference? I am so excited about this conference because my president, General Yuen Kagota Museveni, the President of the Republic of Uganda, has been talking about uh, regional integration and I didn't know other African countries, they are also taking it seriously. But when I came to this conference, I realized that, uh, at least in South Africa here, we are thinking about our con continent, Africa. We are thinking of working together as Africans, and that is what I have learned from this conference. I've also learned that when we come together as African nations, we can mitigate this climate change issues, which is affecting us. It is even now affecting food security of our nations within Africa. So we need to really work together and mitigate this uh, climate change. Issues. Beautiful. So as a young person, <laughs> probably for my benefit and other people, other young people are not here, I, I don't know if you could have an advice, a climate-related advice to the younger generation, the younger people out there in Africa. Actually, my advice for the young people, the generation belongs to them. Yeah. Because the old people, they are already in their evening time. Huh? It's the young people will, which will take African continent to another level. So this is a time for them to come together, to strategize yeah. on actions to be taken to mitigate climate uh, issues in our African continent. So the young people, they need to take serious steps. They need to come together, they need to pull resources, they need to work with government, they need to bring their ideas to their different governments. And our government has opportunity to meet in like in AU. In those meetings they can champion the continent issue. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you so much for your ideas, but thank you so much for your time. Um Nozelo Hadewe from Egypt News.